photographer Milton Green. He became president of Marilyn Monroe Productions. But the association did not last to the end. Milton Green is in Paris. Bernard Frizzell, NBC News, interviews him. Mr. Green, could you tell us when and under what circumstances you met Marilyn Monroe? I met Marilyn Monroe in California about 10 years ago while I was on a photographic assignment uh, for a national magazine. Uh, and uh, what happened when you met her, Mr. Green? Well, I was very, very impressed. She looked beautiful to me, and I did want to take pictures of her. Uh, did she say anything to you right off the bat? Well, she looked up when we were introduced. She was looking at the pictures uh, that were shown to her, and she said, but he's only a boy. And I said, but you're only a girl. And that was the beginning, I suppose, that, that, of a great friendship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, how did she impress you from a photographic standpoint? Well, I couldn't wait to photograph her. I mean, it was my privilege. Uh, I was looking forward to it. Was she cooperative? Extremely. Was she a good subject to photograph? Yes, uh, I think it'd be a privilege any photographer to photograph her. How did she behave when you were photographing her? Well, at the beginning, she was just a little bit nervous, but then after a while, she felt reassured and comfortable, and uh, you couldn't ask for anything better. What was your problem with her as a photographer? I had no problem. Uh, wasn't there a problem of reassurance? Oh, you mean, yes, well, that's just uh, is a matter of the way people work together, I guess. I, I see. As a human being, what was she like? Well, she was very, very sensitive and very understanding, great feeling for uh, human beings, people, and animals. I know once I was with her and she saw her dog get hit and was dead and she broke out in tears. Hit by a car. Hit by a car. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, when you say that she was sensitive, do you, can you think of any anecdotes to indicate that? Well, um, it's just the tone of the voice could make her feel upset or make her feel rejected even, you know? And um, she was extremely sensitive. Uh, you mean criticism through her? Criticism or even herself at times. She'd criticize herself. She was probably her worst critic. Well, her best critic. Did you find her intelligent? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, did she have a peculiar kind of intelligence? Well, she has sort of an inner sense, like a keen sense, uh, which goes uh, right to the root of it, and which is surprising at times. Was it a logical intelligence? Yes. Or oh, was it more... For, for her work, her whole life was an actress. She belonged to the cinema. Well, you're talking about her quality of talent, aren't you? Yes, but her whole, uh, it's a talent her life uh, every day uh, was always, um, she was always working on her work within herself. It wasn't just on a surface or when she went to school. When, when she went to school to learn, it was to get certain lessons and then she'd be working at it all the time. She never stopped. So she was a 24 a day, hour a day worker. All the time. Marilyn was a great sex symbol for our time. Was this something that she merely projected on a piece of film, or is this the way she was personally? No, I think this is what uh, Hollywood has classified her as uh, to capitalize on. And this is the way they see it. I never saw her as a great sex symbol. I saw her as a marvelous person and a great actress. And when you saw her personally, she did not project this quality that she projected on the screen. No, that was Marilyn. That was the natural qualities. And that's why uh, I think when she was on the screen, uh, people couldn't believe it. If, if you saw her doing a take of a movie, when they're making a movie, and then went to the rushes, they were surprised to see what they saw on the screen when they saw the take going on. They couldn't believe it. And why is that? She has a certain quality. I don't know what the word would be, whether it's chemical or what, but she had this quality which projected on the screen. And people didn't see it while they were doing it. Miraculous. It is, yes. Yeah, extraordinary. And as a human being, how did she impress you then, since she wasn't the sex symbol that she projected on the screen? Was she the nice girl next door? I don't know what the nice girl next door is. Uh, I accepted Marilyn as Marilyn, and I uh, always, in my thinking with Marilyn, all the time was anything you do, there's a reason for it. And anything Marilyn did, there was a reason for it. And I also understood that uh, she didn't like to be rejected. I don't think anybody likes to be rejected. When you sum it up, how would you describe the best part of being with Marilyn? 
Well, it, it's been a sad day for me today, and um, I have always thought of, even though I haven't seen Marilyn for quite a while, I always think of, when I think of Marilyn, of the good times we had together. And she was great fun. I remember the first time I took a water skin, and I put a life preserver on it, and I must say it's quite a sight. I Why did you put a life preserver on it? Because she doesn't like water, and she doesn't swim. So, you know, we put this big life preserver on it, and it's one with a lot of cork in it. And I don't have any pictures, I'm sorry to say, but uh, it was quite a sight because we couldn't get her out of the water. Or on her skis, you know, she kept dragging along the water. Did she ever get up on the water skis? No, she didn't, but she was a great sport about it. And she had just, she felt so free and loose and happy that she'd tell jokes and she was fun. It was a marvelous thing.